Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be installing an EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. So let's dive right into it, shall we? Okay, another job here by Slim Solar, day one. We're putting in posts in the ground. You can see we got four in. And for those folks that want to comment and say, oh, that's not deep enough. That's 40 inches in the ground. And we applied motor oil on the parts that went into the ground. Concrete all the way up to the two bags of concrete, I believe, got uh, that got put in there. Same with this one. So you can see the oil on it to help protect it. So same with that one, and you can see same with that one. And for those of you who says, oh, it's only 18 inches in the ground, there's your auger. That's a 32-bit, um, 8-inch in diameter. And then as we're digging it out, we clean it out with a post hole digger, and as we just keep going. So we try to go 40 inches in the ground, and we put these posts in the ground. So this is going to be for uh, EG, actually not EG, sorry. There's going to be... EG4 bright mount um, solar ground mount on these wooden stumps here, six by six posts. And we go all the way down to where that shovel is. So there's going to be 12 posts in the ground. And this is going to be 14 panels, uh, 395 watt bifacial panels. So there'll be 14 of them. And this is for a system that we're putting in the ground here. So we got four posts, and then we have eight more to go. And there's a lumber that we have to put across. So we're putting three 16 feet when we cut those posts, all 12 of them. It's, this is going to be a stretch of 45 feet to where that shovel is. So that equals each of these ground mount array structures are gonna be 15 feet each. So 15, 15, and 15, that's 45. So we have basically three 16s, six by six, we'll cut them to length. They sit on top of those posts once we cut them across. And the EG for right mount system right here. There's three of them. We may mount it over there. And here are the panels. 14 of them. And that's the specs. Sorry, I have to turn this sideways because if I don't, then it'll go narrow and the video won't be good. So I'll just slow it down for those of you who want to see the specs. And these are from Signature Solar. So shout out to Signature Solar. 395 watt Hyperion bifacial panels. And we are installing a EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra 1 7200 watt with two batteries. So it's going to have 12.2 kilowatts. Of battery storage so once we get to that stage we will do that so we're putting in that so first day of installing as you can see the ground rod right there we have to beat that down but i started that so we can beat it down in the ground and then we'll trench our way over to here go in the house connect it to the ecoflow delta pro ultra unit so this is day one this is where we've gotten so far See the cement bags, so we're putting cements down in there. And I know there's going to be some comments of that. That's good enough. Well, that's good enough for what we're doing. So posts go down 40 inches in the ground. And these are 6 by 6 by 8 feet tall. So 
okay we'll keep working but just wanted to do a quick video it's kind of hard where we are to get set up but maybe I'll, I'll try and do it tomorrow so we can have more footage so that's it for day one steam solar signing off uh, before i do that make sure to like share and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos as we put them out so thanks again and take care Okay, Slim Solar here, day two. We got all 12 posts in the ground, as you can see. There's my groaning rod right there. You gotta beat it down a little bit more. But you can see all 12. So when we make our cuts today, or mark it, So we can then take our 16 footers, which I'm sure would have to cut a couple pieces to get across here because this should be 45 feet this way from left to right. So we make our cut. So this has been drying for two days. So we started two days ago, put this in the ground. The first day, we let this sit to dry with cement in the bottom. And so they went down about, like I said, um, 40 inches. And these are 10 foot, 6 by 6. So these are all down in the ground. As you can see, we put the oil on it to try and seal it and protect it as it's in the ground. With concrete. Two bags of 80 pounds each and all of these so my guys over there are getting the EG4 bright mount racks to put the solar panels on that are sitting right there and we're gonna get started so just to give you an update so I will park you somewhere and let the video continue to roll
Okay, Slim Solar doing another update for day two. So we tested and got one panel up just to make sure it works uh, to get our bearing and our measurements. So this is a country redneck style of temporarily bracing the panel. So it stays up there. It's nice and rigid. Yep, so now I'm just sewing the rest of them we have up, all the railings. We have all the wood cut. So let me back out and give you a, a long view. So we have from down there all the way this way, we have it leveled. And then we have the first panel hung. So now we come back tomorrow, we will put the rest up, level out the railings, get them all up, get them connected. And then we will work on our trenching from there over to the side of the house right there and go in there. So that's where we are right now. Sorry we couldn't uh, get the filming. So hopefully to the next time we come out here, which should be tomorrow, we would break out the camera and try and go through at least showing you installing the panels and getting all the racking and the railing leveled even and connected so that's it for now please like share subscribe and comment about this video so more people can see it and we will continue making more so until the next time, take care.